In this week's player profile, I'm joined by senior defenseman Tommy Dowell. Tommy, thank you for being here. Hey, first off, I just want to say thank you very much for having me. First question, we, we've asked your teammates in the past, kind of what's been your road to Plymouth State? How did you end up choosing Plymouth State as your university? Well, it all started, um, I'm from Kansas, so there's not, a much, not as much hockey, and it's kind of a small world there. And um, so I left my senior year of high school to go play juniors down in Texas. And uh, since then, I was 17 years old, and I didn't come to Plymouth until I was 21. So I, I bounced around. I got to see different parts of the country. And I think that uh, really helped shape me as a player. And then when I was a 20-year-old, I played for the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Knights in the uh, Eastern Hockey League. And I met with Coach Russell on multiple occasions. And I came up. I saw the school. I got to see meet the guys, got to see them play. And quite frankly, I just fell in love with the place. Um, I really, really enjoyed how Coach Russell uh, recruited me. He didn't, he didn't smother me. He didn't come over the top. He just kind of let me pick the place that was best for me because he knew I had different options. And I think that really made me feel comfortable in coming to Plymouth. And I was just felt welcomed. And I wasn't too much. Coach Russell made sure I was going to make the best decision for me. And I believe that was Plymouth State. Being that this is your senior year, what are you going to take away off the ice from Plymouth State University after you graduate? Well, first and foremost, I think I'm going to take away the relationships that I made with all the guys. I've met a, met a lot of lifelong friends, guys that have graduated, guys that are younger than me, and even our, our senior class this year, there's quite a large number of us. And I'm definitely going to take that. Um, I'm also going to be able to take away the degree I've earned. Um, I also am currently working on my master's degree. So I, I thank the people in my life earlier, mostly my dad and my coaches before, for pushing me to take you know, a college class here or there along the road in juniors. And so therefore, I was able to graduate early and hopefully finish my master's degree this summer. And I think that will be a, a huge asset I can take away from Plymouth State. We've seen you start to rack up some points on the defensive side. You're approaching your season high in point totals already at eight right now being 10 the last two years. Do you think of yourself as an offensive defenseman, or is there something different that you just kind of feel uh, opening up the opportunity to get in the attacking zone? Um, I wouldn't consider myself an offensive defenseman or an overly flashy skilled defenseman. I've always stuck to the thing of calling myself a first pass defenseman. I look to take care of my own zone and then get up in the play. And I think something that has really helped me become better and be able to rack up the points, uh, as you say, is uh, just being able to get my shots through from the point. I, I don't think that I make very good, like, exquisite passes or anything out of the ordinary, but I just try to be simple and just try to get the puck to the net. And I think over my course of my four years here at Plymouth State, I think I've been able to learn when to fake shots and when to get my puck through to the net. And I think that has really helped me out this year. What's your greatest moment being a part of Plymouth State hockey? Uh, without a doubt, winning the championship my sophomore year. I mean, it was just a, an unbelievable experience. And uh, honestly, my favorite moment from that was obviously winning and, you know, having the ring. That was great. But uh, being able to see Tyler uh, on our team, he came out with us on the ice, and we all kind of pushed him around the ice, and he was holding the flag. And uh, I just got chills right now talking about it. Um, it was just something truly special because Tyler is always there for us, um, mostly every practice. He, he even made the trip down to the tournament this weekend in Endicott. And... Uh, it, should, it, was, it was really special to see how happy he was because, you know, he's there for us every day, whether we lose or whether we win. And it was nice to be able to, you know, give him something and give him something that I, I hope he'll remember for, for as long as he, you know, lives because I, I truly cherish that moment and it was, it was pretty awesome. Lastly, a big weekend for your team, uh, two conference opponents in UMass, Dartmouth, and Salem State on the road on the weekend. How do you personally prepare for, for the teams the second time around, and what are you looking forward to from these two teams this weekend? Uh, well, they're both going to be two tough, t two tough opponents. Um, we've, I've played them many times in my career, and what we're going to get out of UMass Dartmouth is, is a hardworking team. They're not overly skilled or overly flashy, but they're going to chip pucks in, and they're going to try to go to our net and try to beat us there. And what I've done to prepare specifically for this week is just to make sure, um, you know, with our long break over Christmas that I've been able to get, you know, right back into playing shape. And I've been trying to put the right stuff in my body and trying to stay stretched and stay ready to play at all times because playing back-to-back -back games this past weekend and then going into two tough games, it's just really important that I stay healthy and that way I can help the team the most. Tommy, thank you for joining us. Best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you very much.